uh, NISAR, uh, as, it, as the name goes, it is NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. Is this is the satellite uh, name, and uh, with the name uh, as the name goes, it is a, a synthetic aperture radar satellite. It has got two bands of frequency. One is the L band, and another one is the S band. This is the only satellite in the world with both L band and S band type of uh, um, you know uh, SAR uh, uh, payloads, and this is the only satellite in the world which is going to give such the type of resolution accuracy and the type of application which is being looked into. Uh, the aim of the satellites as per uh, NASA, uh, the 2D solid earth displacement, that is the land area per, per year, volcanoes, reservoirs, and glacial rebound uh, you know, landslides to be observed through this 2D solid earth displacement. Then the 2D ice sheet and glacier display uh, experiment the global ice sheets and glaciers will be monitored and the sea ice velocity, the Arctic and the Antarctic sea is, is to be monitored. The biomass, the global areas of the woody biomass covers uh, that need to be monitored is what NASA is looking at. And displacement, the global areas of woody biomass covers which gets displaced, that also will be monitored. And uh, cropland inundation area, the global area of the crops and the wetlands, which are globally it needs to be monitored. Look, this is not just limited to an area or the other. It is for the global application and the global usage by all the countries and all the scientists is something which we should really note upon. And that is the game changer, even though the NASA and ISRO have come together to do this satellite. Why this you know, satellite was you know, conceptualized? In 2007, there was a requirement from the science community of the world that a satellite of the type of L with L band and S band SAR is required to monitor the world, uh, you know, uh, from the environment and from the ice point of view and the water, the sea. So that is that's how the requirement came up. And uh, as the lead country, US took it up and they found that uh, the uh, the cost is order ex exorbitantly high and the technical challenges and technological challenges are required. That, that's how they looked into various countries and they zeroed in on uh, India where India was also interested in doing uh, SAR uh, type of sat uh, satellites. Therefore, in 2012, uh, a formal contract was signed between NASA and ISRO for this about $1.05 billion uh, you know, uh, SAR satellite, which is really, really one of the top class and one of the best satellites, which is going to be uh, you know, uh, in the year uh, on 30th of uh, July. Uh, look, this satellite is uh, jointly made by NASA and uh, ISRO, and the data, data is collected. It, it is expected that uh, uh, petabytes of data is going to be collected with, by the by this satellite in its span of three years. Petabytes. You please imagine the quant quantum of data which is going to be available for the scientists. And uh, of course, uh, the first take will be for NASA and uh, you know uh, ISRO, the, the countries which have sponsored and which have done this and. Which have completely, you know, shed their uh, efforts. The first, uh, you know, uh, take will be by these two countries, and of course, the data will be available for other uh, scientists of other, uh, you know, global scientists also. Because this, you know, the, the weather prediction, the uh, uh, the disaster management, the oceanographic management, and even the coastal process area and etc. is required not only for, uh, you know, US and America and India, but it's also required for other countries. Therefore, this data is going to be available for all the countries. By definition, by definition, this satellite is a civilian satellite. Okay, and this satellite is mainly for the weather and weather monitoring related and uh, the changes in the Earth surface, changes in the glacier, changes in the ocean, changes in the various parts of the Earth uh, over the globe which would help the mankind and disaster management, et cetera. And uh, 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 look, the, sci the uh, scientists and the engineers make the satellite, make uh, the you know payloads, which can be used for any type of application. But uh, it is too premature to comment uh, uh, if this satellite could be used for uh, this, you know, uh, other than civilian application, it's too premature to co comment.